Good morning and welcome to Data Explorer's daily video update for Thursday 20th of August. My name is Ruby McCormack. Now let's have a look at what's going on in the market today. The Desley Global 50, which tracks a change in short interest for the 50 largest global companies, jumped 1.7% yesterday. Asia was up 5% while the US dropped 3%, but the UK continued its rapid increase, climbing 25%. Please go to our website at forward slash index for more on Desley. World equity markets are continue to be nervous with comments from Warren Buffett and PIMCO voicing concerns about US government and corporate debt. Oil prices have trended lower and so far this has been a difficult week for the sterling. Now look at the upcoming economic news and company results for today. In Europe, stock prices dropped. The focus was on financials with a large rights issue from Swedbank hitting all bank share prices. We are also seeing weaker metal prices hit uh, shares in Rio Tinto. In Europe, we expect earnings results from Swatch, Kioni, Rio Tinto and Ahold. The short base for Rio Tinto is very low, having dropped in recent moves. Market analysts are likely to focus on the developments in the iron ore market, where China has recently announced a special deal with Fortescue Metals in Australia. This deal may undermine the position of the big three iron ore producers. Rio, CVRD in Brazil, and BHP Billiton. The US will report the latest jobless data and will also be holding a number of regular Treasury auctions. This week, the US regulator, the SEC, announced that it was reopening the consultation period on the uptick rule proposals. We expect a large number of earnings announcements from the retail sector, Sears, Barnes & Noble, Van Housen, PetSmart, and Buckle. Buckle's short base is currently around 14% and rising. This is in contrast to similar stocks like Urban Outfitters or Abercrombie & Fitch, where the short base is dropping. Other stocks reporting in the US, where we are seeing important changes in short base, are Regis and Verigi. In Asia, the Chinese market has been volatile after its recent strong bull run. Analysts noted the associated weakness in commodity prices this week. The yen, traditional as safe haven currency, has been trending higher. Today, we expect results from Takara Holdings in Japan and Billabong in Australia. For more information, please go to our website at www.datrixplorers.com. For any detailed short base information on some of the stocks I've mentioned here today, and for any other stocks which have seen unusual shorting activity, please subscribe to our new daily reports and research service at www.datrixplorers.com forward slash e-mail. Thank you for listening and have a great day.